Hi guys, this is Home Reno Collectibles and welcome to an update video. This is basically me showing you what I've got coming in through the next few months because it's great for me to be excited for what's coming up because I know obviously what I'm interested in and what I'm going to review. But for you guys, unless you are subscribed and you watch the videos and you know what I'm coming up, maybe like the next few weeks or something, you don't know what I've got coming up in the future. So this is a great way for all you subscribers and everyone who supports me to see what I've got coming uh, in the next about maybe five months or so. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a quick little video, but there's going to be a lot packed into this. So to start with, we've got Transformers, and that is going to be Warbitron. Now Warbitron are a company who have come up with the largest third-party Transformer to date, and it is a, uh, a combiner team. It's the Combaticons, and they are my favourite Transformers. Uh, they obviously form Bruticus, so this is their version of a uh, Generation 1 Bruticus. And if I just get the big picture up, that there was the team. And this is uh, Bruticus himself, and it's just insane. And when it decides to load up, there we go. Um, this thing is huge, it has so much detail. It's honestly incredible, and I cannot wait for it. So, uh, and also, uh, just before we move on, these guys are actually a little bit cheaper than the TFC Superion combiners individually. So he's bigger, he's more awesome, and he's cheaper, so that's pretty incredible. But speaking of the TFC guys, I'm also going to be getting this guy on the same order as that. Now, they come out in about March, April time. So this uh, set, the Superion set, which is obviously Uranus from TFC, as well as this right here, the wings of Uranus, <coughs> which gives it the accurate chest piece, uh, that will uh, be coming with that order. So I'll be getting those uh, early to mid next year, basically. Whenever Warbitron comes out, I'll also have these guys. Um, next along the line, I said that I was going to be getting this. Uh, this is the uh, X-Transbots uh, Bruticus add-on kit uh, from Echo Transformers. Uh, basically, this is just a upgrade kit that just, it's all snap-on pieces, essentially, to make your Bruticus from Fall of Cybertron look game accurate. And this is a really awesome set, and I said in my review of that, if you want to go and check that out, it's on my uh, channel in the Transformers playlist. Uh, this is what I was going to get, but now I have seen this from Microblaze uh, Creations, and it's basically an onslaught, and it is absolutely incredible. It's It's still game accurate and everything, but instead of just being little add-ons it actually does give him bulk so instead of just giving the silhouette it actually gives you the nice big bulk of the figure and it, it increases the size and everything and it's a lot more accurate in terms of the arms and it still comes with articulated hands new feet pieces and stuff uh, and, and some weapons for the other guys just like the other set does but this you actually get a Voyager onslaught and it's the same size as the uh, Grimlock figure that we got. But not only that, it also actually adds more articulation because you're using much better joints, especially in the waist area. If you remember with the normal onslaught, um, to move the legs you have to basically unhook them from the waist uh, to use onslaught's articulation and then it doesn't stand up very well so you have to hook them back in to stand up. With this obviously you're getting nice bulky thighs but you're also getting a hell of a lot more articulation so you can actually pose the guy um, and I just think that is incredible you know the look of it is just absolutely incredible all the proportions are just so much better um, I don't know when this is coming out they are in testing right now they have got coloured versions going on um, but as soon as this thing comes out that's what I'm going to get so I'm going to be reviewing this and not the other version from X Transpots that you can see here. Um, 
I do like it, but as you can see, it's it's accurate, but it's just for me just nowhere near as detailed and as good looking as this thing. So I don't know prices, I don't know release dates or anything, but this is what I'm going to be getting. Now what I'm also going to be getting is this. Now I actually pre-ordered this as soon as I could off TF Source, and it is the one that comes with those uh, wing upgrades. And that is going to be delayed because of this, which is the Fans Project uh, Diesel, which is their uh, M3 Causality uh, Menacer, which they're calling Intimidator. Um, so this is Diesel, which is obviously Motormaster, the chest of Menacer, uh, part of the Stunticons. And it was meant to be released this month, but it's going to be coming out next month now. It's been pushed back, delayed a little bit. And on that order, I have the, uh, Mac, uh, well, Mac A Toys, Make Toys, however you want to say it, but Hypernova. I did have this, but I'm going to take that off it now because, obviously, I'm getting this. Um, and I have a few other things on there as well. I have um, Universe Classics, uh, Prowl, and Red Alert. I also have the... Fall of Cybertron uh, Generations, Deluxe, Optimus Prime, Jazz, and Shockwave. Uh, so I, I got quite a few things on that order that obviously I now have to wait another month for. But before then, I actually um, am doing my Iron Man project. So as you know, I have my Pepicura Part 1 for the Iron Man helmet build up, and that has been up for about three months now and it's getting great support and loads of comments and everything and thank you everyone who's saying that it's helping them and everything I really appreciate it and uh, basically you're welcome too um, you know it's what I like doing so if it's helping you guys out then that's great but uh, yeah part two is actually done now so once I've rendered this and uploaded it I'm gonna get on to doing final touches to that and then editing it up and then uh, getting that online so that could be up within the next few days basically definitely before uh, like Wednesday or Thursday um, also throughout uh, the Christmas period I'm gonna be getting up my Iron Man Mark 7 build which is because I'm not actually stopping at the helmet I'm actually gonna make the Mark 7 but I'm gonna do it out of foam so if you wanna see that then you know stick around because that is coming very soon I'm gonna do the full foam armor build it's going to be basically like a kind of vlog sort of series it's not going to be like step by step how to do it it's like the first video is going to show you basically how i'm going to do the entire suit and then i'm just going to go through vlogs of like you know this is the arms done and this is the thighs and this is that yeah and then i'm going to have a couple of videos like how to connect it also with straps and clips and pins and stuff like that and then after it I'm going to do a whole painting kind of series. So that's when I'm going to paint up the helmet and I'm going to put lights in the helmet and lights in the suit and everything. So it's all going to come together and be a really nice Mark 7 build. Um, I also have my uh, Deadpool costume, which I just got to show you guys as well. And figure wise, uh, I've got the Batman Arkham Origins Series 1 figures coming soon. I'm going to get all of those figures to show you guys. So. Uh, stick around for those, and then Marvel Legends wise, I'm gonna get all of the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Winter Soldier waves. So that's what's coming up over the next few months. So it's all Marvel Legends, Arkham Origins, and a crap ton of uh, Transformers stuff coming. And there's also just Transformers Generation stuff like Skids, which I really really like because it looks so much like Steel Core from Fans Project which I don't have and I also don't have a Salter, I really want those two um, yeah it's just, it, it's a nice filler for me because it's so much like Steel Core so in a way it's like I don't mind not having Steel Core because Skids look so much like that figure uh, but that's everything that I got coming up if you like anything at all that I've mentioned in this video please remember if you're not subscribed you're not going to know when I've got the videos up so subscribe and check out my channel uh, weekly because I do weekly videos um, sometimes it's one video sometimes it's five videos it's just how much time I have because sometimes I can be a bit tired or stressed out from work or 
I've got other duties at home and this, that and the other, so... And I'm a big gamer as well, so I, I game a lot, so... I don't always have a massive amount of time for reviews, but, you know, I'm doing it for you guys, and I'm doing it because I want to share my collectibles with you. And, uh, I get enjoyment out of, uh, people saying, you know, nice collection, or great review, or this, that and the other, you know, I'm not doing it for any other reason, really, I'm just doing it to share what I have, so, uh... Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I've been Homerino Collectibles, and uh, remember to subscribe if you like anything that I've got coming up soon. So this has been for you subscribers, and I hope to see you in all of these upcoming reviews. See you next time, guys.